Can a person inherit what they already own? Wait, wait, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry about Can't my help me. Can't you help me? Yeah, Answer yeah, the yeah, question. Yeah. Allah is called Al Warith in the Quran, the inheritor of the Supreme Heir. How can Allah inherit something he owns? Because if he owns it, he doesn't need to inherit it. And if he's going to inherit it, he doesn't own it. And that's shirk. Because I am sharing in ownership. Because I own my soul and Allah owns my soul. So bring up a better bring up a better evidence. That's your thing. Okay, that's, that's, that's this is this is a Muslim thing. He said he needs to go. He can have time can, to can a person questions. inherit something he already owns? Yeah. Yeah. Agreed! This yeah. makes no sense! Islam makes make no sense! sense. Shamsi, Shamsi, who said the obedience? Does Allah is own everything? That's my way to no, 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 no. Shamsi, answer my question. Shamsi, answer my question. Does Allah own everything? No, 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 no. You walked away from that debate. You walked away from that. That's all right. Put it on film. So, Shamsi, 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 does Allah own everything? Shamsi, does Allah own everything? Shamsi, does. Does Allah own everything? Answer my question, Shamsi. God bless you, Shamsi. Look after yourself, Shamsi. Bye, Shamsi. Running again. Running again. Running again. Running again. Running again. You see, they can't even make their mind up. He says I'm right wing, he says I'm liberal. They can't even make their mind up. Shamsi is a bag of wind. He shouts and he blusters, but when challenged to debate, as you can see, he runs away. He dare not answer the question. My simple question to Shamsi is, does Allah own everything? Why are Muslims fighting to that? Answer the question. Does Allah own everything? Does Allah own everything? Okay, we can have a shouting match. Let's try and have a conversation. Let's have a try and have a conversation. Yes. This man a liar. You are a liar. Does Allah own everything? I don't believe what you speak. You are a liar. I'm asking you about Islam. You will know the truth. You will know the truth. Does Allah own everything? You will know the truth. No, no, no. I believe Allah. I believe Jesus. No, no, that's not my question. 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 Look, look, at, look at their rude behavior. Look at their rude behavior. Look at their rude behavior. I'll ask you again. Does Allah own everything? Okay, yes. All right. You're, you're willing to have a conversation. Does Allah own everything? The answer is yes. Brilliant. Can a person inherit what they own? What? Can a person inherit what they already own? Wait, wait, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry about my English. Help me! Help me! Answer the question! Can anyone speak up? So, Crusaders! 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 Answer the question! Here's how you answer it. Answer the question. No, 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 you had your chance. Answer the question. Stop touching me. Stop touching me. Crusaders inherited the Christian's land. Answer the question. That they killed and murdered. You said Allah owns everything. Can a person Can a person inherit everything they own? That's your answer. That's his answer. No, yeah. I'm, answer, Crusaders I'm asking you. Kill Christians you see, they're frightened to answer hands. the question. Can a person, person who within their remit is unanswerable? Why are you all shouting? Why can't you have a conversation? Why can't you have a conversation? We are, your ears are blocked. Why are you shouting? Why are you shouting when it's your time to shout? You love to shout when it's your turn to shout. Why are you shouting? You love to shout when it's your turn to shout. Now just notice the behavior. Notice the behavior. Notice the bad manners. Let's see the decibel levels of the microphone. I'll ask you the question. So my question is, does Allah like it? You're being rude to him. I don't care. He doesn't care about being rude. I don't care what your opinion is. So the question is, does Allah own everything? You love to pluck words out of people's mouths. Yes, of course. Allah knows everything. No, 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 no. I didn't say no. I said own. What? What is different? Own, own, possess, own, own, own. Maliki, Maliki. He owns everything. He owns everything. Exactly. He owns everything. Okay. Can a person? The whole world. Brilliant. I, he owns everything. Agreed. Agreed. What's your problem? No, I'm talking to him. Listen. Does 
Can a person inherit what they own? They don't understand this. Finish your right. conclusion and go home. Can a person home. inherit what they own? Finish your conclusion what? and go home. Can a person inherit what, what they, they own? own? So no, finish what your they own. conclusion and go home. Are you listening? Can Are a person listening? inherit what they own? I don't understand. <laughs> Are you listening? Now, do you inherit means, I'll tell you what inherit means. I don't understand. I'll inherit, I'll tell you what inherit means. I'll inherit you. Inherit means that, like your father, you when he dies, he will give you his house. Oh, wait, he got to ask him. He ask gave him, does to the another die? life. Another yeah, he's gone, dies, and then he worship. gives you his he house. Gone. He yes. has another life. And he, no, 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 listen, he listen. Got to a life. Yes, no, listen, no, listen, listen, listen. Yeah. So inherit, yeah. inherit means when your father dies, he gives you your home. Like he, his home, he goes to you because you Ask inherit him. it. The father, do you understand the, father, the word inherit now? Do you understand? Do you understand? Now, the, ladies the and gentlemen, the look, look, look. can you answer the, the question? Father die? No. Does the father die? But the son and the father are the same. Can you answer the question? So who inherits the father's? Can you answer the question? So the Ask question him. is, does There's Allah own answer. everything? You got your answer. Does, you didn't get it for the does mic, Allah own everything? Right. So he answered yes. So he answered yes. Can a person inherit what he owns? Can a person questions. inherit something he already owns? No that no. makes no sense. No, both makes no right. sense. You're right. Both that both makes no sense. sense. Listen, you ladies and great. gentlemen. I swear to God, you listen, will know the truth. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. You will know the right. truth. Right. 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 So, I listen. Are you listening? You are I'm going to. You I'm going to. No, 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 no. You had your chance. You had your chance. You had your chance. I'm talking to him. You had your chance. So, so we agree that Allah is called the owner of everything. And we agree that it makes no sense for someone to inherit what he already owns. One of the 99 names of Allah is the inheritor. How can Allah inherit what he already owns? No, ag agreed. This makes no sense. Islam makes no sense. Islam makes no sense. I have one here. Here. I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. He's, talking to him. He's, going. he's going. He's going. All right. He doesn't have time. You look after yourself. You look after yourself. Have a good day. So, my English, give me a question. I can understand because my English is not high quality. That's fine. That's fine. The fact that you can speak English so well is a compliment. But I give you information about Muslims, people. Okay. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, I want to ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, what's your question? You agree. Now, we just caught on camera a Muslim saying it doesn't make any sense that Allah is called Al Maliki, the owner of everything, the sovereignty, and that one of his other names is the inheritor. How can someone inherit what they already own? Islam makes no sense. Can you answer this question, sir? What do you mean? I can't, look, if you can't understand, I can't help you. <laughs> if you mean? don't understand, I can't help you. Yeah, yeah. Sir, I'm, I'm guessing that you're a Muslim. Do you want to know what the word is in Arabic? I'll pull it up yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, I'll pull it up for you. So the, bro the Muslim, I'm guessing you're a Muslim, brother, are, are you? Okay, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to say whether he's a Muslim or not. Stay, stay down, stay in speakers' corner language, that usually yeah. means yeah. they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, silence means consent. Right. Go to <laughs> wow, savage. So, let me just pull up the name. Okay. So in the Quran, yeah. Allah is described as Al Warith. Al Warith means inheritor. If Allah owns everything, how can he inherit what he already owns? The 99 names of Allah are self contradictory. Would you like to reply? He's checking it out. Look, reading from wahiduddin.net, an Islamic website, Al Warith. The inheritor, the supreme heir. Tell me something that Allah can inherit. Oh wait, he's back. He's back. So, we, now you agreed with me earlier. It makes no sense 
for someone to inherit when he what's, owns it. So what's the We're agreed that that makes no sense. Right, Allah is called Al-Warith in the Quran, the yeah. inheritor, the supreme heir. How can Allah inherit something he owns? Well, because uh, so, let's say, um, you, and you're, and you're, and you're soul, and you're, and you're like a body in your head and yeah. all that parts, right? Yeah. When you die, all of those will be returned to Allah, right? Oh God. Okay. Yes or no? Does Allah own them? Uh, well, when you're, when you're here right now, then no. I mean, not really. I mean, you could take them away, but currently they are yours. So you, you're, you're saying no, no. you're saying that there are things that Allah doesn't own? No, no I think you could if you wanted to, but currently that they are yours. You, you get me or not? Does, does Allah own my soul? If you want to take it away and own it, yes, he can. Does he own it right now? Does he own it right now? So what you're saying is, you uh, who owns my soul right now? But if you wanted to, you could take it away. So who owns my soul right now? It. Who owns my soul right now? Right, now listen to that. So to get out of the contradiction, the contradiction of Allah being the owner of all things and the inheritor of all things, to get out of the contradiction, he has posited the argument that at this moment in time, I own my own soul. Wait, wait, one second, one second, one second. One second, let me reply to your argument. We, you not mean you can have conversation. Now, the first problem with that, the first problem with that is I think that he's actually making something up on the spot and that most Muslims would say that Allah does own my soul. The second problem with that is that it's shirk what he just said. Because he's saying that I possess a quality of Allah. I own my soul. And that's shirk. Because I am sharing in ownership. Because I own my soul and Allah owns my soul. That's manifest. That's manifest. You're welcome. So, my point to you is, as you agreed earlier. I'm trying to say, look. Yes. If Allah wanted to own your soul, he could. Because he owns it. No, no. If you wanted to, he could. But right now it's yours. Right. If you wanted to own it, he could. So there's joint. So I now no, have. I never one second. There's joint so ownership. so I have. I have now a quality that belongs to Allah. What? Because I own my soul. You own your own soul. But yeah. If Allah wanted to, he could own it right now. Right, right, right. To. So Allah. Now, firstly, I would like you to show me. Where, well, anywhere. It's just an opinion. Obviously okay, I it's can't. an opinion. It's really sure. important, and, and that's fine. What do you that's want fine. To it's really important God. because I'm pretty confident that when you dig into Islam, when you no one order, when you dig into Islam, yes. Islamic teaching is that Allah owns everything. Yes. He believed that when I said it. Yes. When I asked him, he said Allah owns everything. I don't understand when, you. I don't speak when English. I asked you, when I, I asked you. Anything. You said oh, like Allah owns everything. Yes. You so where the liar. instinctive you answer? Your soul, you could, you Why are you a liar? I don't see anything. So that when you, you said, when I asked you, does Allah own everything? What you should have said is Allah owns everything but your soul. He asked me you and he said, I you, say something. Are you willing to say I that? I don't say anything. Why not? Because because if if you want to own your soul, you could own it. No. Does he own it right now? Because right now he doesn't. But if you want right. to, he could. Right. So, so when, so when, so technically he does. You're jumping around, bro. Does he own it or not? Oh, oh, you name. Him, right? Look. Although that phone is not with me, if I wanted to, I could grab it and take it. Right. Although it's, I wasn't. It's but what mine, you're right? talking, right? Let's. Is you, it mine or not? Yes, it's, it's still mine. yours. But hold on one second. There, the I analogy is a false one. Why? I'll explain. No, 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 no. Because when you give your phone to him, yes. it always remains yours, does it not? Yes. There's never a time when it isn't yours. Well, I mean, no, hold on. Hold on. Who could steal time. from Allah? No one can steal Allah. from Allah. No, so my point is, your analogy is... No, 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 no. Well, I did say that. He said, yeah. he said that Allah doesn't own my soul. No, I, wait, no, I said, you have your soul now. But if you wanted to, you there you go. Take. Allah owns everything. I said that as well. So how can he inherit? How can he inherit then? Because if you wanted to, to take your soul now, he could. What, what is an inheritor? What is an inheritor? Uh, I mean, as in, in Malta, as in Tanya, like, if you die or if your dad dies, then he gives you your wealth. Yeah, his an inheritor is someone who takes possession of something that previously wasn't theirs. Agreed? Well, that in, in English terms, yes. Yes, right. So Allah, no, 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 oh, yes. no. I'm sorry, but your translators describe Allah as the supreme which, inheritor. Which, tra which, tra which translator is that? I'm sorry. Oh, I'll pull it up. On, I'll pull it up. 
Okay. So the, the fact I mean, I've said I've said Allah owns everything. No, but the point is, you can't on one hand say that Allah owns everything, and then in the next breath say that Allah doesn't own my soul. That's what you're saying. Does he own it right now? Right now he doesn't. Wait. But thought you said Allah owns everything. I'm trying to speak. You have your 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 soul now. Yes, yes or no? Yes. If Allah wanted to own it, he could take your, your soul now and own it himself. Allah, Allah, which Allah basically means he does own it. He has, right. You, the, the, you, you've got a logical contradiction. Where? You cannot uphold one statement that contradicts another statement. If you say Allah owns everything, yes. owns that includes soul. my soul. Yes. If you then in the next breath say you own your soul, you're saying Allah doesn't no, own my soul. You own your, your, your soul now. However, so Allah, Allah doesn't own my soul? Now. So Allah doesn't no, own everything? I'm saying, I'm saying, you own your soul now. So Allah doesn't own everything? And, bro, I don't understand. Go on, sorry. Thank you. All right. no, no, no. You own I get excited. your soul now. <laughs> you own your, your soul now, yes? Yeah. If Allah wanted to, he could take that soul away from you. Yes, he could take it possession. it could become his. And yeah. then it will become his, actually. Right, not it right. but the, the, the statement that you yes. are making is self-contradictory. Yeah, because Islam is self-contradictory. Yeah. You're saying, oh, come on. you're saying... You don't want to get into Christianity. No, you're saying, is, you're saying, is, is you're saying... Guys, wait, 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 well, let's talk. Oh, you're saying that Allah is al-Maliki. Al-Maliki means the owner of everything. Sorry, sorry, what is right? Malaki? What is One second. Yes, of course, the king. There you go. Of course, I'm not lying. Of course, I'm not lying. The king right? is wrong. I don't understand. But, king but in the next Lord. breath, in the next breath, you're saying your that in the next Lord. brain, in the next breath, you're contradicting that statement right. by saying that Allah does not own no, right saying, now. Well, the camera will demonstrate that you, you did. Did you hear him say that? Uh, no, did you no. hear him say that? Say Everyone I'm else seems to think you said that. A mistake. No well problem. done. You just, you just said what I said. Well done. Thank yeah, you. Carry on, bro. You, you just got to put right with the hecklers. Now. Just got to put with him. You own your soul now, right? So Allah doesn't own my soul. No, I said you own it. Does Allah own my soul right now? Yes. I mean, if he wants. Yes, he, he does. Could. You could. Yes. Yes, he does. He right. Could. No, no, no. He does he? No, I'm not asking if so he could. If you does he own now, my soul? If you have your soul now, Allah could take it away. Does soul. Allah own my soul this very yes, second? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'll explain. Go on. Firstly, the question is not whether Allah could own my soul. I never right, asked good. you that. I asked you, as of this very second, as we speak, does Allah own my soul? Allah can take your, your, your that is your not the question. Why? The, 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 the why? Because I'm the one asking the question. And the question that I'm asking, the, the question that I'm asking is who is the owner, the sovereign of my soul this very moment? Is it me or is it Allah? It's Allah it's right, so Allah owns my soul now. Yes. How can he inherit it then? When you die, then your soul is what? what? But he already owns it, so how can no, he inherit no, it? No, because your soul is in you right now. Yes or no? Yes, well it is a contradiction. You're absolutely well, right. This guy gets it. Well done. He's a genius, isn't he? This guy gets it. Well, well, if we speak about this, I can bring like 500 stuff in Christianity. That's right. Contradiction, so let's not. Do, do you yeah. agree Allah is called Al Warith? <laughs> Al Warith. Yes. yes. And is that the inheritor, the supreme heir? Well, which translators? Well, I'm going from well, wahiduddin.net. Which one are you going from? Wahiduddin. Yes, it's, a, it's an Islamic website. No, it's an Islamic no, website. Tra the translator. Well, well, what the translator website, are you using? I'm not. Right. It's your point. It's okay, not, it's so not, if, mine is, it's that's fine. So bring it? up a better, bring up a better no, evidence. That's your thing. Okay, that, that, this is this is a Muslim thing. thing. So what are you trying to say? Is what? 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 To what? inherit, to be an heir. So this is what the Islamic website says. Listen. Which, which person listen, is this? Listen, listen. Which person? I might be able to find out for you. Bear with us. A, uh, an entire page and just see what we've, 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 this kind of. You, you, go and check it yourself. Go and ask no, but someone. Your point. It's not Go mine, and ask it? someone. But it's your point. I'm going it's to be mine. happy to say Al Warith means the inheritor, the supreme heir. This is what the Islamic what website says. What, what yeah, is it comes from the root, Warith, which has the following classical Arabic connotations to inherit, to be an heir, a survivor, to be the owner or sustainer after someone. This name is used in the Quran in 1523. We've already established it's a logical contradiction to say that you cut that you inherit what you already own. And, and as you can see, as you can see on camera, people can make their own judgments. My interlocutor right now is struggling 
to try and uphold two contradictory statements. One, that Allah owns my soul, and two, that Allah will inherit my soul. Because if he owns it, he doesn't need to inherit it. And if he's going to inherit it, he doesn't own it. I will see if I can find out for you, but can you bring forward a... This, but look. It's your point. How, why am I going to bring oh, it forward if it's your point? Bro, unless you can bring a better definition, is your, this is the, the one that we've got. Is on you, it's on me. Well, it's people point. can make their own mind up. It's kind of obvious. That, that's your, fine. It's so your, it's, it's now point. a moot point because I'm it's your leaving it to the right, audience so to can I find out. Ask yeah, go on. How, how can Jesus be God if he has no idea? Of no, 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 no. Changing the subject. It's my, it's, my, it's my question. What, what? All right, I'll answer. Are, are we saying we're done with this debate? Yes, yes, well done. Okay, I'll answer this one yes, question please. and then yeah. and then I'll go. Right, right go ahead and ask your question. I've already asked it. Huh? Sorry, but ask it again. Uh, how, how is Jesus God who has no idea of the end of time? Okay.